Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, it is very important to differentiate between the fixed matters and the variable matters uh, in Islam. Um, and uh, the, our problem is that some people consider everything in Islam to be fixed and some other Muslims consider everything in Islam to be variable. And these two extremes are not uh, right because in Islam we have a number of matters that are fixed and a number of matters that are variable and it is very important to differentiate so that we do not change something that is supposed to be a fixed part of our religion or uh, fix something that is supposed to be a variable part of our religion. Maqasid um, al-Sharia helps us in uh, defining the fixed and the variable in Islam for the sake of our daily life and for the sake of the life of the community. Um, to give a few examples, the uh, structure of family, for example, in Islam is a fixed matter. Uh, in Islam, we have a man and a woman and children, and there are rules that govern that. And this is not a matter of, of change or evolution uh, in order to develop the uh, structure of the family. Uh, the rules themselves and the relationship between the husband and the wife and the children and the relatives, these are something that change with the change of culture and change of societies, but not the structure of the family itself. This by itself is a sacred and religious matter uh, in Islam. Um, another thing, for example, from the variables, which is what people wear, what people eat, what people drink. Uh, what is fixed in Islam that we are not supposed to drink something haram, uh, alcohol, for example. We're not supposed to eat something haram, uh, pork, for example. And when we wear something, we have to cover our aura or our private part. There are many opinions on what private parts are in men and women. And, and uh, many opinions, alhamdulillah, are rahmah, are uh, a form of mercy to have a number of opinions. Uh, some are more conservative, some are more open. But other than that, what people wear, what people eat, what people drink is variable in Islam. It's cultural. Uh, it depends on your people, what they wear and what they drink. You're not uh, obliged as a Muslim to wear like Arabs uh, or wear a thobe and amama because, uh, yes, the Prophet وسلم, wore a thobe and amama, but so did uh, Abu Lahab and Abu Jahl and, and the kuffar of Quraysh and Muslims and Christians and Jews in Arabia. So everybody in Arabia wears that thing. So what people should wear or eat or drink should be something that is subject to their culture and their customs and their geography and history, if you wish. And in Islam too, um, people wear what they like as long as they do not compromise the social order of the society. Um, and we should uh, actually uh, differentiate uh, in Islam as it is differentiated uh, in uh, a modern society between sins and crimes. Uh, not everything that I make as a mistake in Islam is supposed to be something that the state comes after me in order to protect or to uh, you know, arrest me for, for the sin I make. Unless the sin that a person makes affects the public order and then it becomes a problem. Uh, similarly, Muslims should put, defend their um, freedom to wear what they think is an obligation on them to wear Muslim men, Muslim women, and does not uh, compromise the order of the society. Um, a way of thinking in terms of maqasid uh, allows us to define the fixed matters and the variable matters. The fixed matters that have to do with the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, anything that is an act of worship, to pray, to fast, and to pray in a specific way, to raise your hand in a specific way, and to fast in Ramadan, and to do hajj in a particular way, uh, etc., etc., many details of our family law as Muslims, uh, the way we, you know, bury our dead, etc., etc. All of these are matters of worship uh, that are fixed, and they define a Muslim versus a non-Muslim, uh, and they are not to be compromised under any circumstance. But other than the issues of worship, ibadah, of acts of worship, uh, everything else in Islam is open for the change according to the circumstances and according to the society and what the society thinks is best for them. Uh, and therefore, we should um, actually strike this balance as Muslims between the fixed matters and the variable matters 
and preserve the fixed items of our religion because this is our identity and very uh, strictly um, observe them but also we should be aware of the variable parts of our religion and we should be flexible with these variable parts and change our uh, conduct as the society changes for us to be an integrative and contributing part uh, of the society. Uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guidance and we ask Allah forgiveness.